It's quarter to six, the CrossFit Games officially underway in the 608. Josh Breider is live at the Alliant Energy Center this morning with a look at how the weekend is shaping up. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, CrossFit Games back in Madison. We're a few days in now, but still plenty of action to be able to check out this weekend. And even if you're looking at some of these exercises and being like, wow, I cannot do that. Well, now you really want to watch this segment because this is really something that anybody can do at home. Alex Gowers is part of the CrossFit Seminar staff here this morning. Alex, good morning to you. Good morning, you too, Josh. You know, so this is a, a great sport because this is really for all ages, all mm -hmm. abilities, and for good reason because there are movements for everybody, right? Absolutely. You know, talk a little bit about what you can do to modify these workouts, even if you're just at home. Yeah, so you already hit the nail on the head. The cool thing about CrossFit is that it's universally scalable. We can take the same things that these CrossFit Games athletes are doing. They're heavy, they're high skill movements, but we can make them easier and lighter for people at home. So, for example, in today's workout, you're gonna see some heavy kettlebell clean and jerks, but all we need to do for the regular person at home or just the everyday athlete is just use a lighter load, and it can even be as light as a pair of five pound kettlebells. And if you don't have a pair of kettlebells, you could even use something like a pair of dumbbells or just something that's like a weighted object at home and just go through the same general range of motion and we're getting the same gist out of the workout. In that same workout, you've also got legless rope climbs, which are beyond most of our athletes' skills relative to what the CrossFit Games athletes are doing. But you could do something like a ring row at home where you're just grabbing a set of rings, leaning back and pulling yourself up, still working in the upper body. Or if I have athletes that have a little bit more strength than that, they could even do something like a banded pull-up, start pulling themselves up in a vertical fashion with a little bit of help from the band. And that's gonna work the similar strength and skill as that legless rope climb. It's just a lot easier. You know, the biggest thing here, which incredible demo back here, yeah. by the way, um, you know, just getting the body moving. That mm -hmm. is the main thing and just staying healthy. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you are moving your body. Exactly. And it really doesn't need to be super challenging to start. Just making sure that you're doing something is the way to go. And then over time, building complexity, building difficulty. And that's how you build consistency. And that's how people start getting healthy. And when you think about the fittest on earth being here in Madison, they all had to start somewhere too. Absolutely. Yeah. What is the best way for people to really just begin? I know sometimes it's always that hard thing of just starting that journey, starting those goals. So just getting going, obviously I think a great way would be going into your nearest local affiliate, talking with the coach, sitting down with them. And what's cool is that you go to any CrossFit gym around the world, you could just walk in and just talk with a coach first. You don't need to go in and actually work out. Just call and say, hey, I want to come by, find out what this CrossFit thing's about, just have a conversation. Don't even need to commit to working out. But I guarantee you, once you get in there, they'll make you feel welcome. They'll make you feel like you're ready to get in there and do something. And the coach will be able to give any athlete something that is appropriate for their level of skill and ability to get them moving and get them started. Oh, well, Alex, we appreciate your time this morning. This was a great demo. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It was awesome. If you'd like to learn more information about the CrossFit Games, I have posted links to the story up on channel3000.com. And guys, coming up in our next half hour, we're actually going to be talking to a local gym owner and athlete. And we've spoken to him before here on the program, guys. So we got more ahead here in the 608 in our next half hour. So it's been a couple of years, Josh, but do you remember that time we had, I think it was a burpee contest? And I won. I, <laughs> I you did not win. Oh, I, I beat won. you. I, I totally won. beat you that time, Leah. I like I'll to never forget that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. I'm not, I'm not breaking this tie. Thank you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, Josh Brighter. Thank you very much. Let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured.